This is question 20 in a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Um, so here we're told uh, we're given a diagram uh, which shows the curve of equation with y is equal to f of x. We're told that the coordinates of the minimum point of this curve are 3, negative 4. So we can see that just there. And then we're asked to write down the coordinates of the minimum point of the curve with equation y equals f of x plus 3, y equals f of 2x, and y equals f of negative x. So this is some fairly basic graph transformations. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use a trick. Uh, if you're not familiar with the trick, there is a video on the channel that will um, show you how to do this. Um, but I'm going to assume that you have watched that already or that you understand how to answer these. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that coordinate. I'm just going to write it down at the top so we can see it a bit clearer. The coordinate is 3, negative 4. And what we're then going to do is look at how these graph transformations, um, how these equations, how the equation y equals f of x, how that has changed. So what we can see on this first one is that the change has happened outside of the brackets. That means we are going to change the y coordinate and we're going to do exactly what it tells us to do. So that first answer is going to be 3 and then adding 3 to the y coordinate, so 3, negative 1. The next, um, the next graph transformation, we ask for y equals f of 2x. This time the change has happened inside the bracket. That means it's going to change the x coordinate. And we're going to do the opposite of what you would expect to do. So instead of multiplying our x coordinate by 2, we're going to divide it by 2. So it gives us 1.5. And the y coordinate is unchanged. That will still be negative 4. The last one, y equals f of negative x. And again, it's happened inside the bracket, which means we are going to be changing the x coordinate. Here it's telling us to multiply it by negative 1. We're going to do the inverse of that, which is to divide by negative 1. So that's going to give us 3 divided by negative 1. That's going to give us negative 3. And the y coordinate is unchanged because there are no changes happening outside the bracket.